What's going on guys? Today we're gonna to talk about starting online businesses. There is a ton of online businesses that you can start. So what I'm gonna do is break them down by what I feel is the easiest online business to start and work my way up to the hardest online business to start. Because this is something that a lot of people are looking for, a lot of people are craving, how to start an online business, how to work from home. And this is something that's a little different. You could start an online business, but you may not be working from home. Let me explain. You can start an online business that could require you to have a warehouse, that could require you to have an office, that could require you to have staff and make really good money, but you will not be working from home. And we will get into future videos about working at home, having a YouTube channel, having an Instagram business, having a Facebook business, having a YouTube channel. These are some of the online businesses that you can do from home and be extremely successful and make a good deal of money. What I wanted to do was just kind to break it down and give you guys some vantage points of an online business. So with this, and there will be many videos, so be sure to subscribe, be sure to hit the bell notification, and be sure to watch this video two or three times in the comment because we're gonna be talking about this quite a bit because believe it or not, there are a ton of online businesses. There's a ton. And what I feel is, and let me just say this, what I feel is people are looking for something that they can go grab, do, learn how to do really quick. I'm talking about one, two weeks and work from home and make significant money. And there are some people who pull that off. There are some people who pull that off. However, the average person who is on this side of the screen is looking for something workable, something remarkable, something that is easier to do. And that's one of the things, and this is why I'm starting this list off with the easiest online businesses. So with that, the easiest online business is to sell a physical product. This was a business model that I was a part of for many years. I was selling stuff on eBay. I was selling stuff on Amazon. I was selling stuff off Craigslist. Hands down, the simplest and the easiest business model to become part of is to sell a physical product easy. You don't need a lot of training. You don't need <clears throat> you don't need a lot of experience. I will go through various phases of how I was selling online and I will talk about how I really worked it up to a high level. And also, I had a warehouse. Keep that in mind. I was not doing this out of my home. There was been there there would have been no way for me when I was at a very high level of selling stuff online for me to do it out of the house. It wasn't going to happen. So, my first efforts of selling stuff online started with eBay and at one point I had literally developed a, a passion for eBay because I want you to think about it. And this was something we did for many years. We would list a bunch of items on Sunday. We found out that Sunday and Thursday night were the best nights for us to list stuff on eBay. And it got to a point where I got somewhat addicted to eBay because I would go out and buy storage units, come home, put the stuff on eBay in less than seven days, because this is one of the things, early eBay, I don't know about today, I'm actually not selling anything on eBay at the moment, but early eBay days, we would have Sunday, Sunday was the hit day, we would list the best stuff, the juiciest stuff, the nicest stuff we had on Sunday, and we would list this stuff and I would say back then, 90% of the people paid on Sunday and the rest paid on Monday. So it was a good way to go out, get products, sell them, and receive money in seven days. I mean, it, it was like freaking remarkable that I, like, let me go ahead and tell you one of the things that we would do. And this is something that I discovered just testing out things. Let's say I bought a unit for, 150 bucks. And this unit had eBayable stuff. This was a word in our lexicon, eBayable stuff 
that we could put on eBay. It was something sellable, it was something unique. It was already on eBay. And let's say I spent $150 for a storage unit and that storage unit had 200 eBayable products. And what we would do is list each product for 99 cents. And sometimes the item went for 99 cents. But I remember a unit that I got for $102. It was sealed bid. I had to write the bid down. And this unit had literally 1,000 eBayable items. And it took us a few listing cycles to list everything because it was so much stuff. And that unit, oh my God, $102. That unit made $38,000. Yes, 38, because it was the storage unit of a person who was a collector of antique toys and dolls and stuff. And that's why it was so much eBayable stuff. Virtually 95% of that unit was sellable, in good condition, nothing dirty, nothing, it, was, it was a great unit. And it was one of the best units. So this is one of the reasons that I will say that selling physical products online is the easiest and it's the fastest way to make money. Now let's talk about this. Most of my experience was on Craigslist, eBay, and Amazon. Now let's talk about today because the world is very different than many years ago when I was selling stuff on eBay. Now, right now in the current cycle, selling physical products at the right price is the easiest way because there's you have eBay, you have Amazon, you have, God, what is the name of that other one? Etsy, you have Open Door, you have Craigslist. Craigslist is still a very huge site that does quite well, but everyone is aware of price. So if you're selling something with price, price as a part of your sales methodology, you have to price it correctly. Because if you don't price it correctly, I'll tell you, I have a situation right now that is literally, it can be draining. I have a car that's not fixed that I want to sell. And everyone is looking at the price and they're not reading the ad. Because in the ad, I have everything that's wrong with the car and the car has to be towed. And they're not reading the ad. They're seeing the price and they're like, I can get a car for 2,500 bucks that runs because they're not reading the ads. And this is something that was a major issue with eBay. I found out you wanted to put the most important information in the first paragraph because a lot of people just would not read the whole ad. And right now they see the car, they see the price, they're clicking and they're messaging and they're not even reading the ad and these are not long ads. So with that, you've got to have the correct pictures You've got to have the right price to be effective because I still think selling physical products online is the easiest business because this is the situation. There's you have your product and you advertise it online and someone's, hey, I want that product. Very easy. Um, trust is very much a large issue. Back in the day, eBay started, people used to send money orders. So we've come a long way. But one of the things that you have to understand and one of the things that you have to be really aware of is when you're selling stuff online, you have to be aware of the scams. Scams right now are ridiculous. Um, last year I sold a bunch of stuff on eBay and literally I would get an email saying, hey, thanks for the offer. Do not send it to this address, send it to this address. And I will always send it to the address that where the payment came from, I never had an issue. But right now scams are really a big issue. But let me go ahead and tell you about when we got really heavy into selling online stuff. And once again, I had a warehouse. Warehouse is critically important to this story. We we're putting a bunch of stuff on eBay. We we're putting some stuff on Amazon. Like literally, whenever we get a bunch of books, we'll just put them on Amazon at FBA, ship them to Amazon and sell the books on. We got to the point where we had two warehouses. And once again, a warehouse is critically important. And at one point we had 5,000 square feet of stuff 
on eBay. And this was probably the most profitable month that we ever had, because literally it was just a thing. I bought unit after unit that was full of eBayable stuff. And it got to the point where we had to convert some of our workers to how to teach them how to take pictures. And with that, teaching someone how to take an appropriate picture and train them how to write an ad is very time intensive because you've got to take your pictures a certain way. You've got to write your ad a certain way. And like I said, we have 5,000 square feet of stuff online between eBay, Amazon, and Craigslist. And it was just all in one warehouse. It, it was phenomenal. And if I was to go back and do something, that would be something that I would do because I want you to think, Every time we got an email, cash, it was payment. And when we were really rolling, and this is why I stress a warehouse, because that warehouse was doing about 250, 270 a month, and it wasn't selling everything. And this went on for about five months, and then we got rid of it, and then my storage unit buying went back to normal and that disappeared. But to have a warehouse full of eBayable stuff, once again, this is clean, sellable stuff that people want. Like you to this day, you can sell a polo Ralph Lauren shirt on eBay, but you cannot send a plain shirt that you got from Walmart or Target on eBay unless you bundle them up and sell them as a lot. Once again, it's gotta be something that people want, people will want to invest money in. And you, this is something that doesn't take a lot of money. Literally, you could just start with stuff around your house that you don't want. I had a friend who was a cell phone addict and I was over at her house just talking to her one night and then she pulled up in this drawer and a cell phone fell out. She had a drawer full of usable, not broke, high quality phones. And I was like, why do you have that drawer of phones? She said, oh, I just put them in there when I'm done with them. And I was like, that night, we took pictures, we started listing her cell phones on Etsy, eBay, excuse me. And within a week, she had $7,000. She was blown away. She said, I don't believe people buy phones. See, she was a upper income person. She was doing quite well in life. And whenever she wanted to get a new phone, she'd just get a new phone and she wouldn't not think twice about it because she had the income. But just to tell you that if you were to go around your house and just look for stuff that's good condition, usable, that people desire, that you just don't want anymore, you may be shocked at how much money you literally have sitting around your house. Because once again, selling physical products, whether it's cars, bikes, I'll tell you a quick story with bikes, I would get a lot of high quality bikes out of storage units. And what do I mean by high quality? Bikes that were not made of steel, bikes that were made of titanium, bikes that were made of this extra. I remember, and this is the reason I bought this unit. I was looking at a unit and it had bikes. It had one, two, three, four bikes, right? And, I, and then when I was looking and I put my finger and I was able to lift that bike with my finger. I was like, and I already knew that these ultra lightweight bikes are extremely expensive, extremely expensive. So I got into a little bidding war with someone else who kind of knew something about bikes, but he didn't actually get in there to test the bikes. So I paid 780 for that. That bike that I lifted with my finger, I sold that bike for 2,500 bucks on eBay. And collectively, one, two, three, four bikes, $12,000 just in bikes. 12,000 and there was other good stuff in there. So once again, if certain things like you can make a lot of money just selling a certain kind of bike if you have the capacity to get your hands on it. Now that's another issue with a lot of really good name brand products. It's kind of hard to get your hands on a lot of it because that was one of my big regrets. Is I get all this stuff, right, and sell it. And I'm like, it's gone, I don't have any more. One of the things that you wanna do is to go ahead and get yourself a solid supply of stuff wherever you're getting it because I'm gonna tell you something and be really careful with this. If you get started selling stuff online and it starts rolling, it becomes addictive. 
it becomes extremely addictive to know I knew that Sunday when I put that stuff up on Sunday that the next Sunday because we would have the stuff go off on a Sunday the next Sunday was payday and it was just payday because essentially we would list the new stuff and we would have stuff going off so it was like money over money it was insane your first business should be to try to sell if you're open to it to sell something a physical product online because like i said it's the easiest business to get into and depending upon your capacity your storage and other stuff it can be quite phenomenal now one of the things you need to understand and this is just a few tips from me do not if you're going to start selling physical stuff and you have the capacity, I would say get a warehouse out of your house because when you start selling stuff and you're using your house, all of those empty rooms now become storerooms. And it's just really hard to, once you get sunk into selling out of your house, it can be hard to get out of your house. And then you're gonna go downstairs and you're downstairs, it's like a warehouse. and. Just like I said, if you're really going to do online selling, you clearly want to get out of your house. You want to set up an organization. You want to go ahead and get the express shipping and all this other stuff. But hands down, selling physical products online is the easiest way to get started to make money online. You don't have to be special. You don't have to be, um, I was reading an article about this girl who does videos on YouTube, Batty and Budgets, I think that's her name. She sells cash stuffing supplies. First year, 250,000, second year, 850,000, and she'll do over a million this year. Once again, selling physical things online is the easiest, the fastest way for you to make a lot of money. There's another girl, can't remember her name. I can see her face. She's in the same space. She has a detached warehouse where she sells her stuff and she paid cash for her house because she's selling physical products online. So once you really do this, sit down and think of 20 to 25 physical products that you think you can sell and just kind of start exploring that and looking into it because once again, this is why this is the first video that I'm talking about this. And if you want the rest of them, make sure you subscribe, make sure you hit the bell notification and leave a comment and watch this video a few times because literally you could become a millionaire in four to five years selling physical stuff online. That's just how good it is. If you're selling the right stuff to the right people. Now, Here's something else. I am revamping everything. I revamped the YouTube channels. I revamped my stores. And I am starting off with this, and it's gonna be in the first comment, this first physical, this first product of, and it's gonna be free. I want you to get the money management mindset. And it's gonna be in this, it's a free, how to get your money adjusted to manage your money correctly. And this is a free course that anyone can get. It's gonna be in the link and it's gonna help you. And this, once again, when I say free course, it's not gonna be a redone course. This will be all new information to help you go ahead and learn how to manage your money. Now, why do you wanna learn how to manage your money? In my opinion, learning how to manage your money is the first stage of building durable wealth. Once again, rich, 250,000 a year or more, wealthy, 3.5 million to 5 million in liquid assets or assets. And learning how to manage your money is gonna be a very important part of that. So anyone that wants it, go below, get into this free course, and it's literally going to blow your mind. It's better than a lot of people's paid training about money management. So go below, get that, and I will see you on the inside.